Hi there, welcome back to Top Infamous channel. It's been 56 years since Batman debuted in 1966, which is more than half a decade. Starring the legendary Adam West and Burt Ward, there was nothing more thrilling than watching this crime-fighting team take on their foes with gadgets and costumes galore. So today, we're heading back to Gotham City to see what the original Batman cast got into after hanging up their capes. Now, let's get started. Adam West as Bruce Wayne slash Batman West began acting in films in the 1950s. He played opposite Chuck Connors in Geronimo 1962 and The Three Stooges in The Outlaws is Coming 1965. By the time he landed the role as Batman in the 60s series, West was a seasoned 38-year-old actor with several films and television series under his belt. After the film, he reprised the role in other films and television shows until his retirement from live-action appearances. In 2017, West died from leukemia in LA at the age of 88. Burt Ward as Dick Grayson slash Robin Burt Ward, then 20, began his acting career with the role as the sidekick of Batman, Robin, which is also his best role since entering in the movie industry. After this movie, he reprised his role in several kind of films starring Batman, including its theatrical feature film, animated series, animated reunion films, and live-action television event. Now, at the age of 77, he is mainly running his own company Gentle Giants, which sells dog and cat food, but still works as an occasional actor. Milton Froome as Vice Admiral Van Schleister Froome landed his first acting job in the shirt subject, Dead Devil O'Dare in 1934, but did not act again until 1939. He attended in some films projects including the role as Vice Admiral Van Schleister. He was then 57 years old. Froome continued acting until 1977 and spent his last days in LA. In 1989, he died of congestive heart failure at the age of 80. Reginald Denny as Commodore Schmidlap Reginald Denny had already established himself as a well-known actor in silent films and a talented character actor before the 1960s. He attended Batman at the age of 75 for the last time with the role as Commodore Schmidlap. Denny died on the 16th of June 1967 at the age of 76 after suffering a stroke. Madge Blake as in Harriet Madge Blake had been a familiar face on TV series and sitcoms such as sitcom Leave It to Beaver, The Real McCoys, before she played in Harriet at the age of 67. However, two years later, she died of a heart attack hinting to Memorial Hospital, aged 69. Stafford Rep as Chief O'Hara the character Chief O'Hare was played by actor Stafford Rep, who was then 48 years old. This role was the most memorable performance in his acting career. Sadly, Rep died at age 56 in 1974 in Inglewood, California. After his death, his sister, a television writer, established the Stafford Rep Memorial Scholarship for alumni of his alma mater, Lowell High School. Neil Hamilton as Commissioner Gordon Commissioner Gordon was the most notable role played by Neil Hamilton in both Batman movie and its television series 1966 to 1968. He was then 67. During his motion picture career, which spanned more than a half century, Hamilton performed in over 260 productions in the silent and sound eras. Hamilton died at the age of 85 in 1984 after suffering a severe asthma attack. Alan Napier as Alfred The English actor Alan Napier, then 63, had built his career in West End Theatre in UK before moving to Hollywood and gained reputation for his role as Alfred in both TV series and movie of Batman. Napier's career extended into the 1980s with roles on television. He retired in 1981, aged 78, and passed away at the age of 85 in 1988 after a year suffering a stroke. Frank Gorshin as the Riddler 
Frank Gorshin was a famous character actor, impressionist, and comedian of Hollywood in XX century. He made many guest appearances on The Ed Sullivan Show and Tonight starring Steve Allen. As an actor, he was best known for his role as the Riddler in the live-action movie Batman where he appeared at 33. In 2005, he died at age 72 from lung cancer. Bridges Meredith as the Penguin Bridges Meredith had already established himself as a leading man in Hollywood with critically acclaimed performances as Muro Magna in Winterset 1936, George Milton in Of Mice and Men 1939, and Ernie Pyle in The Story of G.I. Joe 1945 before landing the well-known role as the Penguin in Batman at the age of 59. In 1997, Meredith died at age 89 from complications of Alzheimer's disease and melanoma, and his remains were cremated. Cesar Romero as the Joker The first actor ever playing the Joker is Cesar Romero, who was then 59, and was considered a megastar at the time. His wide range of screen roles included Latin lovers, historical figures and costume dramas and characters in light domestic comedies. His performance as the Joker was included in TV Guide's 2013 list of the 60 nastiest villains of all time. In 1994, aged 86, Romero died from complications of a blood clot. Bill Perkins as Blue Beard Bill Perkins, then 59, regularly worked as a stuntman and held a position as the treasurer of the Screen Actors Guild before he played Bluebeard in the film. In 1972, he retired from acting and passed away in 1999, aged 92. Lee Merriweather as the Catwoman Our sexy Catwoman was played by the actress, former model, and the 1955 Miss America, Lee Merriweather. She wore the Catwoman suite when she was 31 years old. During his her acting career, Lee has appeared in many films and television shows, notably as Betty Jones in the 1970s crime drama Barnaby Jones, which earned her two Golden Globe Award nominations in 1975 and 1976, and an Emmy Award nomination in 1977. Now she's 87 years old and continues to work on stage, television, game voiceovers, and feature films. And that's all the video today. Thanks for your watching, and be sure to support us with a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.